Jam School Remix. This looks like a completely fair bet, but the odds are all in your favor. I want to know what you think is a good or a bad deal here. How many face cards are there in a deck of cards? Queens, there's jacks, queens, kings, oh, and there's oh, four. Oh, that's 12. Sorry. 12, yes. There's 52 cards in the deck, so that means there's 12 face cards, and how many not face cards? Oh, uh, 40. 40, right. So if you were to take a deck, shuffle it up by your own hand, and then separate it into three piles, what are the odds that one of these would have a face card on the top? Not that good. <laughs> you say about one in four, what do you say? One in three. One in three, okay, but both of you guys agree it's more likely to not have a face card than to have one, right? There's no way there's a face card. I shuffled them up, you can shuffle them up yourself. Mix right. them up, mix them up, and then you can give it a few cuts, whatever you wanna do. No, we're gonna do a Vegas style right here, because I know you're shady. Wow. Yeah. One, two, three piles, let's see it. All right, no face card. No face card. No, no face, face card. Oh, we got the nines going. Ah, nine. Nine. There it is. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 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 oh I got two of them. <laughs> Most people, given this problem, say that there's 12 face cards and 40 non-face cards, so they put the odds at 12 to 40. But the true odds are roughly six to five in favor of there actually being a face card. More often than not, there will be at least one face card on those three. You guys know Three Card Monty. It's also called Follow the Lady, where you're supposed to find the queen. What are the odds that out of three cards, you'll pull out the queen? One out of three. That's right. What are the odds that you won't find the queen? Two and three. Two and three, right? And so now we're gonna up it. We got two queens and four non-queens. We got two jacks, two queens, and two kings. I'm gonna scoop them together, shuffle them up. You're gonna pull out two cards. Okay. What are the odds that you're gonna get a queen? One third. One third, yeah, it would be one third again. One out of two? One out of six. Something out of 36. Fair enough. Because you got two queens, right. there's two out of six cards. You have 33% chance of getting a queen. More likely that you will get a queen or that you won't get a queen? Won't. You say won't, what do you say? Will. Just because he said won't. <laughs> so we all agree that it would be more likely that you will not get a queen than get a queen, right? Yeah. Right. All you have to do to win is pull out two cards, all right? All right, let's see. Oh, I'm here for Brian! Yeah! <laughs> but there is a queen. You got the queen. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Look at that, I can't believe you got a winner. Wow. The way people perceive this one is because there's two queens, which would be a loss, and four non-queens, which would be a win, people perceived it as two to four, right? What makes the difference is that you're trying the same trial twice. The true odds, are actually six to four in favor of you getting a queen. You're not always gonna win with this one, but 60% of the time you will get a queen. Anytime you pull off a scam like this one, sooner or later you're gonna end up losing. When you do, make sure you do so with class, buy a drink and move on to the next scam. You'll make it up in the long term. Scam School Remix brings you the best of nearly 10 years and 700 plus episodes of Scam School. Dive into the complete back catalog or join us on our new quest as Jason Murphy and I attempt to become the ultimate gentleman warrior and scoundrel on the modern road.